Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is a look at the latest build from Beanstown 106. It's build number five for the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon. Now, a few things that he did change with the new build here. We'll look at the change log. He did add the AOSP lock screen to it. He did try to fix some of the TWRP install issues. I used Clockwork My Recovery this time. Last time I tried TWRP on build four, tried ten times, and it broke and would freeze up and just wouldn't work. So CWRP is working, uh, or, or uh, CWRP. TWM, Clock Group Mob Recovery is working. TWRP, I'm not sure. I know there are some people that haven't had any problems with TWRP at all. He also added a custom kernel. Emo's got a TouchWiz Jelly Bean kernel. It's the dot .3 Lean kernel. It now allows you to uh, overclock and uh, change your voltages and stuff like that. This is based off of Sprint source code, not Verizon's source code, but he does have it working. As you can see, that's my dog Bentley in the background there. Uh, he did remove that CV message from our text text messages, which we are all annoyed by. So that's some of the major things that he has changed with this build. As you can see, that's what it looks like there. I like to check all the major things when I uh, when I load a brand new ROM. It looks like Google Now is working pretty good. No problems with that so far. We'll go into the uh, GPS and see how we're doing on GPS. We'll let it load up here. There we go, 10 out of 20, 12 out of 20, 13 out of 20, 15 out of 20. So I'm inside, we're still getting great GPS reception, so no problems with that either. One thing that I did notice, though, when uh, uh, me and Beans were talking about trying to fix something in my email, and so he suggested that I tried the AOSP email. When I did do that, and I dirty flashed and re reflashed the uh, ROM, it did force close like pretty much my entire phone. It froze up like crazy. It was, it was almost impossible to try to get back into recovery to flash back. Once I flashed the TouchWiz email, everything was working again. So some are having problems with the AOSP email application. Bean says it works for him, but with me, it made my phone freeze all up, so I'm back on TouchWiz email, all right? Uh, wanted to show you the System Tuner app, which is what I use, and everybody has their own set CPU, overclock, things like that, but you are able to overclock the device now up to 1.9 gigahertz. I have mine at 1.62, but you can go up to 1.9 gigahertz with with, uh, the new emo dot three kernel again based off of the uh, sprint source code uh, that was released on jelly bean since they've got their jelly bean their official jelly bean so far and we don't which is a whole nother story now let's go into the uh, about phone section here. You see we're on Android 4.1.1. We are running the VRBLK1 baseband. This is the latest leak from Verizon. Lean kernel dot three from I M O S E Y O N. Uh, I call him Emo, and he does great work. Jelly Beans build number five by Beans Town 106. So uh, just a few of the things that have changed so far. One more I want to show you is the uh, lock screen here. You go to the settings menu. You go to lock screen. Then you're going to go to the lock screen options. At the top there, you'll see enable AOSP lock screen. That is what you're going to want to check, and that will enable your AOSP lock screen. Um, and if we go back and check it out, there it is. It does give you the option to go to camera, go to the phone, go to the search, go to messaging, and go and unlock the phone. So AOSP lock screen here. Custom kernel is here. The stupid CB message and text messaging is gone. I am a happy man. I've also flashed the 4.2 camera and gallery. Now that I've had a zip on my on my SD card. If you're wondering where to get that, I just Googled uh, the 4.2 camera. I used a Droid Life article that had a download for the original Nexus 4. And that's the one that I've been using the whole time. So that's the one that works for me. It works pretty darn good. Uh, the uh, Photosphere option, if you haven't seen that yet, it stitches them together pretty well. And that's the new Photosphere option in the 4.2 camera. I do have a video on how to use it and kind of shows you all the features on my YouTube channel if you want to check that out. But overall, that's pretty much it. It's uh, the same thing with a, with a new kernel on it. And it does have the AOSP lock screen. The CB message is gone. A few things were cleaned up. A few bugs cleaned up. But overall, pretty good. Now, I did dirty flash this. Uh, this is the first time I did dirty flash. I just really didn't feel like setting up my phone again today. And so I gave it a try. I figured that it's on the same baseband and everything should be okay. And like I said, it's been 
been pretty good so far. So no problems with dirty flashing. Again, uh, Beans always does recommend that you do a clean flash every time. Now checking the battery here. The battery, don't look at the number and think that it doesn't have good battery life. I only have four hours on this with 52%, but I have reflashed this ROM three times in the last few minutes. Also went and flashed the uh, 4.2 camera a couple of times. So don't look at the number and think that the battery life is bad. It's actually pretty good. Before I did all that, I had about two and a half hours on the battery and was at about 85%. So uh, still don't look at the number. The Android system, the Android OS, and the media problems, um, the media has been pretty much nothing. You can see it's down there at 2%. The Android OS at 10%. System is going to be at 22 and that's, again, why uh, or from me flashing ROMs and reflashing over and over again. So that will calm down. Make sure you always charge to 100%. Make that green light come on. It usually resets everything, and uh, you should be good. So give it a try. It's the new uh, build, build number 5 from Beanstown 106 for the Samsung Galaxy S3. You can download it by clicking the link in the description or just go over to Roots Wiki or XDA and go to the Samsung Galaxy S3 development section, flash the ROM. It does use the Aroma installer. If you have not used the Aroma installer yet, don't worry. When you hit install, just follow the directions. You get to choose which apps you want in your ROM before you flash it and pretty much customize a custom ROM by yourself. So have fun with it. Don't forget to check out my other videos, Android University. It's all one word on YouTube.com. Go uh, find the latest and greatest in ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy S3. I try to keep up to date as much as possible. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section. And uh, any thumbs up and thanks would be helpful. Thank you so much. Enjoy Jelly Beans build number 5 from Beanstown 106. The new custom kernel from Emo. It does have the AOSP lock screen on it. Uh, so I am a happy man and I'm sure you will be too. Have a great day.